Welcome back to CT Sports Now, Vantage Sports Net's the place. Jeff Babineau has joined us now, the head softball coach at St. Joseph High School mm -hmm. in Trumbull and a, a past state champion. Uh, Jeff, thanks so much for, for stopping well, by. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It, here's a coach who has seen a lot of these teams that are uh, going to be playing for state champions. Coach, yeah. I know you you, you want to be out there playing. You've you've had a taste of that. And once Absolutely. you get that taste, you, you never lose it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. No, it's something that you always want to strive for. I mean, it's first goal of the season. You guys had such a uh, uh, such a great year. You went undefeated, right? I mean, Correct. just and, and, and your schedule was loaded with these really top tier yep. teams throughout the whole state, yep. uh, and you kind of mowed through them all, and then you got caught up in uh, mm -hmm. against a team that's now going to be playing for a state championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the game doesn't know who's going to win, and I think uh, at that point, you know, we played our best. That's you know all you can ask from the kids. So. Well, but when, when you talk about teams playing best in East Haven is a team that, that, that knocked you out in, in Class L, and they're they're moving into the final uh, against Massac, and this this should be really it's Class L, but but a very a very outstanding matchup between two quality yeah, teams. Yeah, right? very very both uh, both teams are well coached. Um, you know, Massac brings a lot of history with it. East Haven as well, and uh, I think East Haven is the upstart team if you want to say it. I think they came together well at the end of the year and. Should be a very good contest. Very, very good. That game, by the way, is the Friday evening game at DeLuca Field. Um, that that Class L game. You say you, you got a rooting interest on that one or just want to see a good game? I think it's going to be a very, very good game. I think both teams, it, they should be up for it. Yeah, definitely. Let me let me ask you about Class M now. Seymour mm -hmm. is a team that uh, has a terrific program, puts sure. out a good team year after year. Yeah. If there was a, a year maybe that, that – we thought maybe Seymour wasn't going to make it that far. It may have been this year, but here yeah, they are. Yeah, and, and, you know, that's a team that always comes around to play. And whether they had a bad early part of the year, they, they will bring that program to the end. And uh, give Ken a lot of credit. He puts a good team on the field every year, and uh, they should be there. And, and, and the team they're playing is a team you like a lot, too, Waterford. Yeah, Waterford, um, we saw them a few years ago. Very, very uh, talented program up there. They bring kids along. Um, they, should be, uh, they should be up for it. And, and moving on to class double L, uh, Cheshire is not there, mm. but Southington is. Southington, and, and she does such an outstanding That's job year in and year out. You got Southington against NFA, and, mm. and the, the east, the southeastern part of the state with Waterford and, and NFA being well represented this year. Sure, sure. You know, you have, uh, you know, Southington does a great job. Davina does a wonderful program, a good uh, youth area up there. Brings a lot of talent to her. And uh, NFA, again, a very, very well coached, solid program. So that's going to be an exciting one as well. By the way, that is the 4 p.m. game Saturday at Deluca Field. We mm -hmm. talked about the M game. That's going to be the 1 o'clock game at West Haven mm -hmm. on Saturday. That leaves the S game, Coggenshog. How about Coggenshog Summers? That's an interesting matchup that in should Class be an, S. That should be an interesting. Coggenshog had a, a really good season. Um, you know, came along all the way through. Uh, they played some very, very difficult games. And, uh that should be an exciting contest as well. You know what I love, uh, and uh, people may not realize this, but even though there are levels based on population, there isn't much difference between Class S and Class Double L when you get to the best of the best in, in the state of Connecticut because it's such a, a competitive state. Am I right? right? Yeah, absolutely. And you get that one pitcher, you know, that can really dominate a game. It, it could be at Class S or Class Double L. You're absolutely correct. And that's really the difference, right? If you have a pitcher, I mean, and, yeah. and, and we saw we saw some great pitching matchups, right? The other day we had Lauren Card taking on yeah. Shibi yeah, from Shibi. Masic. Yeah. You got two terrific pitchers going at it, but yeah. that's the key. Yeah, absolutely. And you never know. Some days it just doesn't happen. And, uh, you know, you might find a good battle, to, you know, Friday night, and maybe you won't. Right. And yeah. you're going to be out at a, you'll see a couple of these games? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. He, he's it's still, it's still in you. He's got to be a busy, <laughs> a busy guy because he likes the softball. St. Yeah. Joe's is yeah. competing for a baseball championship. Correct, yeah. and And two lacrosse state championships. Right. Yeah. Well, so big, busy weekend. Yeah. Busy, busy weekend. Yeah, they should mm -hmm. give you overtime. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Babineau coming yeah, in and yeah. uh, giving us a, a, a little uh, softball insight. Thanks so much for coming yeah, in, Coach. Thank you. Thanks and, for uh, having congratulations me. Congratulations on your FCAC championship yeah. and what was a yeah. tremendous yeah, regular season. Very good. Thank you. We'll be right back with more here on CT Sports Now.